I got to start off with a question to Marcus Arroyo here, head coach of UNLV. And this is from Ashley Adamson. She told me at the Rose Bowl, post victory, she was standing on the Rose Bowl and she watched you and Justin Herbert embrace in what she described as was like a hug where you could kind of feel the history behind all the time you spent together. So I want to ask you as we kick off this conversation, do you, do you remember the hug? And what were you thinking of as you were ending one chapter and eventually beginning another? Oh, yeah. I, I remember that hug for sure. Um, there was a similar run right after the Pac-12 championship, too, that I remember. I think the, 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 the back story on – you brought up just the hug. It's funny, but um, something I believe in. Justin is, the, is, is an amazing young man. You've got a chance to meet him. A lot of people have. But a little bit back into it is uh, – that that's not what he would have done three years ago. He's not, he's not a hugger, you know, he's, he is, uh, that's not what he's into. And I made him, I made him do that. It's the old coach Tomyism. Like, I'm like, dude, I'm going to give you a hug. Like, it sounds crazy. I know sometimes it's a cliche. Now we joke about it, but I didn't do it because I felt like, Hey, I, I, I do believe in that. The human touch is a huge part of what I do believe in, but I did it more because I know he did. It made him uncomfortable. And early on in our, our relationship, I used to try to find ways to let him know, Hey, I, I care about more than just football. I care about the way you respond to something. And this is going to be a really good relationship. And, um, if we, if we allow it to be, so that's kind of our, those big, I think, I think I actually picked them up and almost blew my back out in one pic. I think there's a picture of it at, at Washington in the tunnel. I think it's a picture I'm, I'm picking him up and I don't remember doing that, but I'm surprised I, I got up from that. One. Um, I do, man, that's a, I think any coach who's been with, with someone that long and, and, and what we do, you know, as good as anybody, um, the trial, the tribulation, the time spent, the relationship you get, the bond you get together. Um, it isn't always all teddy bears and rainbows now. I mean, there's times where we got after each other and we've cried and we laughed. Man, that was a, that was a special moment. Can you go back to that initial moment when, okay, here comes this new staff. You know, you're on Willie Taggart's staff and you're moving from Oklahoma State to Eugene, Oregon, and you know you've got the perfect-looking quarterback. He's got all the tools. If you're going to build him in the science, you know, experiment, this is what he would look like. What did you think coming in? And then after that first meeting, what did you kind of plan out of how you were going to ideate with a potential top ten pick? Well, when we came in, I think uh, I'd, I'd been fortunate to been around some of the best coaches in my opinion, and had some really good. Uh, mentors, you know, Jeff Tedford being probably the biggest one when it comes to quarterbacking. And uh, I say that because uh, you come in and say you got exactly what it's, you got every tool, right? Well, sometimes those tools don't always line up to having success. There's a lot of guys who, and you know, at that position who throw a country mile, can run a, run a four, four and six, six, two fifty, and did, can do all this stuff. And there's so many other intangibles, right? So when we first came in, I think that because Justin was so accustomed to hearing those things, I probably went away from it a little bit more and went into what did I like about him that I thought would progress into a team dynamic or a locker room or growth potential mentally or uh, how I felt I could help him with certain aspects that maybe go uh, that go get slid on the rug a little bit, footwork or progression or something, as opposed to throwing an eighteen yard, which he can do. That's not that's like. He can run, jump, throw, smart as and, – and, and is just – every like you said, got all that. Um, and then you wanted to see if it all click. And, and, and we had, just like many, we had, we had, our, we had our moments of, of what we thought was going to be real clunky and we worked together and grounded through it. And uh, he's, just, he's just grown. And it, it's, it's so awesome to see what he's, what he's done and how he listened and how he applied things and how he applied things and got better each, each time and came out with a great attitude. and. Um, you know, it's it, it's awesome looking back and in, in, in review a little bit and seeing how that maturation process really. You know, there's criticism on every quarterback, right? You played the quarterback position. There's criticism on you, and you played, and everybody you've coached, and you've been around a lot of special, talented ones, and now here are UNLV with another crop of QBs. But for Justin, it seems like the criticism is, is he alpha enough? And I've been around him and seen him and seen his bark in the Pac-12 title game, in the Rose Bowl, on big stages. But it's also something that I think he's admitted to of being a small-town guy, to having cultivate his persona and his confidence and his self-talk. 
where have you seen him get to and what are teams going to get from a guy who doesn't care about showing himself on Instagram and being loud, but will play loud when challenged and, and needed to do so? You know, that, that's a, that, that becomes the, I think it's been, I think it's finally, it sounds like from talking to these teams the last month or so, they've finally broke through that, 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 that facade of, of, Hey, this, yes, whoever first started it, you know, uh, why someone who is somewhat of an introvert can't be a leader, you know? And I think that, um, from the people who have, have decided to look at how he can affect people in the locker room, how he can affect a mood, how can he be mature? How can he, how can he become in charge? How can he listen? How does he go about his work every day? What kind of, at the end of the day, and we, we talked about this, me and him talked about it at length all the time. And little things we did was leadership in our opinion was the influence pure and simple. It didn't have a tag. It didn't have a, it didn't have a, it didn't have something that had to be announced. I didn't have to be at the front of the line to have elite leadership. I had to have influence, I had to have influence amongst uh, a game, um, an environment, a mood, uh, a sudden change, a team, a person, whatever. And Justin has an influence when he goes into these environments or around people and he goes to these interviews or he goes to the combine or he has a, a conversation online. You get to feel like, God, this kid is special. Like, it's just, there's nothing wrong with him. There's got to be something, you know? And you're like, why? Why? Yeah, we all, it's sure there's something, I'm sure, you know? Um, I, I just, I'm so excited for the team that gets him and really is, is hung their hat on those things and then said, hey, we're going to apply all these boxes we've checked that we all say are really important and now they're here and now we want to build this thing around him and go, he's going to have some bumps. He's going to have some purpose, but so is anybody else and say, man, but this dude has got um, some really special intangibles. You know, he's a really good human. He's a really good person. People are going to want to play, play around him and be around him. You know, I hope those are the things that, that the team that, that takes in on Thursday is most excited about. Yeah. So well said. So when you were in the NFL, you were thrust into a spotlight that you weren't necessarily counting on. You, know, you go to Tampa Bay, Jeff Tedford's the OC. All of a sudden, you become the offensive coordinator. What does an offensive coordinator need in a starting quarterback at that level? Communication. Communication. I think that I was lucky to be around, uh, in my opinion, an elite communicator in Josh McCown, who's been in the league now an inordinate amount of years, right, and who's the apex of humans. Um, in my opinion, the way he treats people and goes about his work and the way he lives his life. Um, I was fortunate to be around someone who was a really, really good communicator. And then um, I had seen now with the way that Jeff had developed quarterbacks and growing up, going all the way back to when I drive up and watch him and Aaron's senior year when I'm at San Jose State or the coach and I'm driving up to watch him have a practice or I'm getting ready for their workout and pro day or watching Jeff later years with Nate Longshore, who's now on my staff at UNLV and like see him communicate and see Jeff – I just, and then watching Dirk and Matt Ryan and watching uh, guys who I'd been around, you know, uh, for the short amount of time is just, I think that that's the thing. And I think that that's what you're going to get from um, an elite guy and Justin being a guy who's going to be able to take, take what you've said in a meeting verbatim and still leave some room for error. He's not going to be so analytical where you still got to have some, there's still got to be some play in there, right? There's still got to be at our position. There's still got to be some, savviness to know when to take chances right and I think that um, when that communication starts to happen between a quarterback and a coordinator play caller head coach team you got something and I think that that has to be I think that's something that Justin's going to be really really good at because he's he's very very assertive he's really smart he's going to be able to put point a point b together and, and 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 string a line there and be able to communicate and I think that he'll be great in that role 